Now I will discuss about the session in Laravel. In Laravel, a session refers to a way of storing and accessing the data across multiple requests from a user. It actually allows the server to remember the information about a user's interaction with an application or website. The session data is stored securely and can be easily accessed and manipulated using the Laravel's built-in features. And it is commonly used for the task like authentication, storing user preference, managing shopping carts, etc. There are many tasks for using this session. I will show you all the example of sessions so that uh, you can easily understand. So I will show you with practical example. Now in order to work with the session, what I will do? There are many uh, parts in the session. For example, you can store any data into a session variable then you can uh, show that data in front of user and also you can delete that session data afterwards so let's start uh, to work with that now i am going to create a route in this route i will uh, create a function in order to uh, save the session data right so in order to save the session data what I can do save means a store a store of a store or save so here I can use the get method but here I call that a store info or a store data for example this is my get route a store session data and in this function when a person will hit here I am going to call here the request of request so uh, under request class i create an object request and i will use this request in order to save the session data so this is on way that i will call request of session of put so this is the function to save the session data it has two parameter for example i want to save a username in the session variable and that is my name that means i have uh, if i uh, run this uh, route or uh, that means this url in my browser then in the a session variable in a session variable for example username this data that is rfn will be saved so in order to do that what i will do uh, in order to do that i am going to check it it is actually a storing right and another route I am going to create to show the session data okay so in order to show I am going to call show session data and here I am going to call another function another uh, closer function and here I am going to for example to show all the session data uh, for example the session wall you can call the session all so session all i can call like this and how i can call this this is actually a function so here in order to call this function i can write like this okay dd double dd means in order to compile what is what is going to be in your output you can just use this dd function so i am going to check it and here it is actually not this the route is show session data i am going to call it and here slash show session data you see that by default there are some data or information in my session variable one is token another one is previous here the url is showing your url will be put into your session and there is another variable that is flash variable these are actually the default session uh, but there is no user defined session here yet because uh, this is the session variable username and rfn this is the user defined right so if i now call this one that is store session data here i am going to copy it and paste it and instead of show i am going to call store session data call to uh, undefined method request of session because actually there is no request coming here so it is showing error what i can do i can call here use 
illuminate http request now let's check it so that, that it is working now here if i refresh you see that the username is coming here that is rfn so username is rfn this was not previously in the list previously these were in the list but now you see the username is rfn this is listed into my session variable or in the session list now i can create another one for example that is email and here i am going to set the email rfindev at the rate of gmail.com so if i now refresh uh, you see that the previous one is coming but in order to store i will hit this one okay now if i refresh you see that the email is added into the session list so in this way you can easily set the session data another way is without using the session what i can um, without using the request system what i can do i can also use the session and uh, directly here like this that is session and using the key value and array system i can call username for example it will be overwritten i am going to give my first part of my name so this will be assigned then this will be assigned again that means it will be overwritten and last one will be in the value so now if i go to a store refresh and then here i go to refresh you see that the latest stone is coming that is more schedule that means this is working so this is one way and this is another way but uh, the advantage is in this way i can call here multiple data like this so i am going to use the same value and here another item i can add here that is email like this and this is the value so actually i can do the work in this two way just remember that in order to store anything into the session variable there are two ways one is this way uh, particularly is variable is session variable i i will have to put in this is line or i can use an array and straight using the session function i can call like this so the this one and this one will do the similar thing so this is the way to store any variable into the session and here you see that i used the dd to show all the data here i am going to do one thing that is in order to show any particular session data what i can do that is i can do the same thing the request if i use the request here to show the data remember that if i want to show the data as a request using the get i will have to use the get function and here i can call only the username you know that now in my username and in email has value so this one and this one one is username and another one is email but as i am going to use the request so here in the function i will again have to call the request of request this object i created now if i want to refresh show session data actually this one i did not show just i am going to show the echo and after the first one i am going to give a new line br now if i show the data you see that this is the first session variable data and this is another one data now if i refresh it again you see that the data is rfn and this one now so in this way you can easily work with the session that means you can store and show the session variable and in order to show the data um, that i used here using the request there is another way that is i am going to put the equivalent of it that is you can straight call the session the session of you have to give here the key name that means username and another one i will give here that is email and a br is in the middle like this so if i now go here refresh you see that the same result is coming that means this line this echo this line and this line both the lines are same okay now this is uh, the thing now what i will do after doing this 
I am going to do another thing. That is, for example, I have no data into session variable. If I have no data into session variable, for example, if I want to show here another session and that is uh, mobile or phone, then what will be happen? It will show you an error. It should show you an error. Or uh, you see that no error, but uh, here you can do one thing that is very useful. I am going to show you. For example, if there is no variable into a session, you can just check if a session has any key or not. So in, in order to do that, I am going to call the request of session of has. In this has, I will have to put a key. For example, mobile. Uh, if there is no key, a has key man, uh, means that that has key. If that has key, then I will put it here. Else, that means if that has no key, I will call uh, mobile mobile session is not available. Now, if I refresh it, you see that mobile session not available. But if I store the session. And in the store, I am going to tell that I have another item that is mobile. So here I am going to give here mobile and here I am going to put something like that. So here refresh, that means it is stored now. Now if I refresh it, you see that the value is now set. So this is the detailed description uh, about the session. there is another one i am going to show you here that is you see that uh, i am going just to show the all the session again and i am going to comment it out dd session wall right if you refresh you will see that all the sessions are here showing now what i will do here it has another alternate method that is instead of showing session wall you can call request session wall it will do the same thing i will refresh you see that this is working and doing the same thing another one is flash data for example i want to uh, set something in the case of a store that is uh, request session and then flash flush means a data will be put into a session variable only for one time but for second time it will not be there so in order to do that type of thing for example when we show the any status value that is success or error message uh, in that case we use normally the flush so, uh, so i can write here success is done uh, so request session flash will be this now if I put here like this you see that the status success is done now if I just do this refresh it call it you see that it is gone what does that mean that mean only it will be into the session for the first time but for the second time it will not be there because if I uh, make all of and I call this one, you see that username, email, mobile, stay. But this status, uh, this flush is not there. If I go to do the same thing again, you will understand. I am going to the same thing again. Enter. You see that the status is now here. Success is done. But second time it will not be here. That means this function if i call again like this if i refresh here you see that the status is not available what does that mean so it means the flash data will only stay up to the next request comes so when there will be a next request then it will automatically be gone because this request is doing first time so it is showing and temporarily save it into a session but when you will come here again and another request will be here then this uh, flash message 
will be removed that you see already here using this example so in this way you can easily store data into a session variable and you can retrieve data from the sessions and also i have showed you how to check using the if condition if there is an existence of a session variable or not